All right, so leg day, the most important of them all, since it's the largest muscle group. Uh, make sure you stretch um, for a few extra minutes on this one. Uh, stretch your hips as well. Um, stretch your inner thighs and stretch your calves out. Uh, we're gonna start with the leg press. It's essentially taking the squat movement and then turning it on its back. I like to start usually with my feet about shoulder width, maybe a little bit wider. If you have hip problems, uh, you might need to go even further out and angle your toes just a little bit. <clears throat> that might help with uh, the way that your hip sockets sit. So, um, and then you'll even see I've got my toes up on the... Uh, platform just uh, elevated a little bit so that I can really drive it through my heels. I don't want to drive it through my toes. Um, you're going to put too much emphasis on your knees and on your, your quads. We really want to focus on uh, the glutes here. So uh, we want to drive through our heels. Make sure that it's a controlled movement. You're coming down at least to about 90 degrees where your, your knees are about 90 degrees even further potentially and then push and then as you come back down in that negative movement make sure that you've got at least four seconds as you you've got a controlled movement if you can't control that movement you've got far too much weight you need to bring that down get your body used to this movement after the leg press we've got the leg extensions. I don't love this one as much because there's not a back support, but there should be a few different leg extension machines in your gym. Uh, mine was taken. This one, um, key here is to make sure that your back of your knee has the seat right up to it. Okay, so you don't want your knee hanging off. Uh, this is going to put you at an injury risk. You want it the the seat pad right up to the back of your calf muscle and perform the motion that way. I'll be honest with you. I had really weak knees when I started back to the gym and I had to start at the, the lightest possible weight for the leg extensions. Um, and so that might be you, uh, make sure that it's a controlled movement so that you can do four seconds back down. Here's a variation of that where you can focus on one leg at a time. This is really, really nice, a nice isolated exercise. Um, you'll be able to see is one knee stronger than the other, um, but it also allows you to just focus on one quad at a time. So this is the isolated leg extension. If you have this in your gym, might be worth giving that a shot. Lastly, I would call this like a glute bridge workout. Butt is on the ground, bring your heels just about up to your butt before you perform this hip hinge motion. This hip hinge motion is similar to like a deadlift, but this isn't weighted, this is a body weight workout. Um, and so as you get more comfortable with this workout, the way that you progress in it is you add repetitions and so while you might start with three sets of 10 um, or even less, depending on how many you are able to do. Over time, uh, you may not be able to add lots of weight to this um, in this first phase of exercising, but what you can do is add more repetitions and that hip hinge movement is obviously great for your hip, but is also gonna target those glutes really well. And that's it for leg day.